Hey everybody, it's Taz. Welcome back. Today we're just going to look at my collection and wigs that I have worn recently. I always like to change up my look and it's so fun to be able to reach in my closet and pull out just the perfect wig for that day, for that mood, for that occasion. The featured wig styles today I have purchased with my own funds, but you can find them at Wig Studio One. If you drop below this video, I'll attach a direct link to each one of these styles. You can go out and explore all of the colors, more details on each one, the pricing. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com and visit the private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. So this particular style is Columbia by Beltres and Roca Margarita Blonde. If you remember recently, I did a full review and breakdown of the new Cookies and Cream Blonde by Beltres, and I pulled out some styles to be able to do uh, some comparisons, and I definitely wanted to compare that color to the Roca Margarita Blonde, and so I pulled out this Columbia and fell in love with it all over again. So I'm really loving this color on this particular style. It just really brightens up the skin tone. I have a light neutral skin tone. Roca Margarita Blonde just really sets it off to me. I feel like it makes the skin tone just glow, especially because it's anchored in a little bit of a, a light root color. But talking about this style, this Columbia, um, this was my favorite style by Beltres before, um, before the Dalgona 16. This particular Columbia seems to have a little more volume, a little more oomph to it. Um, just a little more fluffiness and body compared to some other Colombians that I've had from Beltres. I like them all, but this one in particular has something a little special. And so I'm happy to be able to wear it today. And since it's already out, I'll probably wear it many more times this month. So let's move on to the next style that I've been wearing. So often when I get a new style in and I do a review and I set it back here on one of the mannequins, I just keep reaching for it. And this is one of those. This is the Dalgona 16 by Beltres in the brand new Cookies and Cream Blonde. Lace front, left mono part. This one seems to have a little more oomph and volume to it compared to other Dalgonas. But um, I do really like this color as well. Now this color is very close to the Roca Margarita Blonde and if I haven't already posted it, I do have a comparison coming out on those two colors. So hang in there for that. But again, Dalgona 16, hard to choose a favorite from that Beltress line, but in this category, in this mid to long category, this was definitely hands down my favorite. So it does seem to be a Beltress month for me this month because the next one I have is also a bell dress. So I had this one all pulled and ready as well to do a comparison to that Cookies and Cream Blonde by Beltress and I just started to wear it and have been wearing it and I've worn it a lot in the past as well. This is the Dalgona 16 hand tied version by Beltress in the color Root Beer Float Blonde. So Root Beer Float Blonde is gonna be a little warmer next to the Cookies and Cream and or the Roca Margarita but it's just perfect. I love this style. And the fact that it's a hand tied, I just, I feel like I love it that much more. Something about this layering on this hand tied one just really strikes me as something special. I always feel pretty when I wear it because there's just such flattering fluffy layers around the face, kind of that textured brushed out look, but yet it's messy, but yet it's perfect all at the same time. And when I wanna to go to do an updo or pull this back, it's very easy to do. And it looks fantastic because you will not look through and see wefts, so I don't have to worry about that. A super realistic looking wig style. Flirty and casual and just my type of style. Let's move on and this one is not a Beltress. A short wavy bob, just the perfect length. 
This one always satisfies me and I reach for this particular type of style a lot more than any other. This is the Gabor's Sweet Talk Luxury in GL 1422SS. I recently reviewed this one again and have been wearing it ever since because I pulled it out of the box and it, I wore this on Easter. We went down to my sister's for Easter dinner. And I always love to be comfortable and casual in myself. When I visit family, I always wear, I always choose a wig that's me. And so this, this one is definitely me. Love this Sweet Talk Luxury, Sweet Talk Luxury by Gabor. And this one has a lace front, a fully hand-tied single monofilament top, open weft, sides and backs. There's a lot of volume here but you gotta love that curl and structure of this beautiful full short bob style. Okay, what else have I been wearing? I wore this one the weekend after I reviewed it because I loved it so much. This is the main attractions showgirl in the color pecan. It features a lace front and middle center monofilament part. It has a little bit of lift there at the front it's got a gorgeous beach wave, smooth top. It's so glamorous with some volume. It has beautiful movement. And it's just one of those styles that I just enjoy wearing because it makes me feel pretty. Right around the face here, you're gonna see about a six and a half inch fringe there. It frames the face, but yet it holds its structure so it has some volume on top. The color is beautiful. I love this little tips. But these monofilament lace features, you might find an, on a even more premium brand. I love the fiber. I love the movement. Really, really happy with this showgirl style by Main Attraction. Okay, I have one more that I've been wearing. And yeah, it's a Beltrass. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. Beltrass has some lighter density styles that I absolutely love. I love the texture of them, the ease of wear. So sitting back here on Mannequin D is Lemonade by Beltrass. And I did wear that out a couple of times in the last month or so. So let's check it out. Here it is, Lemonade by Beltrass in Champagne with Apple Pie. This again, this length is right up my alley. Um, now, I would love to trim in a bang. I just haven't gotten around to it, but I've been able to manage it pretty well here because those sides are a little long on me, right around eight, nine inches. I did not check specs, but that's what it feels like to me. But I really love this full bob. It has a blunt, a blunt kind of cut in the back. It has a little bit of a, an angle there. It has a little bit of drama and that makes it really casual looking. It has an under wave that give it a little bit of body, but it's not overly dense. In fact, it's very light and feathery, especially around the face. Now I have had several of these and each have a little bit of a different look around the face. I have to work with them a little bit differently. Featuring a lace front left monofilament side part. And so this is Lemonade by Beltress, and that sort of rounds out, I don't know how many that was, but that rounds out what I have been wearing lately. Sometimes when I get on a kick, I just, like when I get on a kick for vanilla ice cream, I have to have vanilla ice cream every single time I have ice cream because I can't get enough. And then I'll move on, you know, and that's kind of like it is with wigs as well. Um, I'm inspired and just really resonate with a particular style genre and just go with it for the entire month. So we'll see you right back here again real soon on Taz's Wig Closet. Please share what you've been wearing all month. That'd be great. Talk soon.